Hey guys, it's Peter here and this time I prepared a sort of different thing. If you've been working with Blender, you may know it's mainly used for modeling and animation. Whether it's 2D or 3D animation, it doesn't really matter. But I was thinking, can I create something more? Let's say if I'm interested in games. And most of you may know, who are familiar with Blender, that Blender isn't officially supporting Blender engine anymore. I have very little experience with scripting and coding, so... So what I'm talking about, I tried to make a video game in a new Blender without using coding or game engine. So here we are, this is, this is my level, you can see that it's basically very, very simple. Yeah, and I will show you. Let's just play the level and I will show you how I did it. This is... The Blender has this navigation mode where you can fly or walk and it also supports collisions, but only on floors, so it's not very ideal. I will explain to you later what I mean by that. Okay, oh. Okay. Yeah, one more time. So, we have this basic, you know, let's call it dungeon, corridor, and yeah, here are some platforms which we can jump on. Oh! <laughs> okay, I, I, I will complete the, this level and then we will talk about it. So, after multiple attempts, I will try to complete it. Whoop! Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, I'm there. Ah! Yeah! Alright, um! I'm not really good at my own game, as you can see. So, uh, 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 uh. all right, all right, we have it. Okay, so, and this is it. This is basically, it's a very short level. And look, this gate will open now. And this is no, this is no coding. Or, I will explain what it is. And this is not, this is not really coding like we know it. It's all cheating, it's very fake. This is not... I wouldn't even call this video game, but it resembles video game, right? And now I will explain how I did it and why it's... It may work for some project, it's not fully a video game and you will see now why. First, we have no wall collisions, right? We can just... <laughs> we can just step out and we will fall. This is not solved yet. So, this is my level. This is my level. The time is going. Yeah, it, it's refreshing each frame. This is the level. We are starting with player, which is camera in our case. So how is this done? Blender has this uh, navigation mode where you can walk and jump. If you go to key map, and you will choose uh, navigation, walk, fly. Okay, and for me, I chose shift and one on the impact. Um, yeah, so... So this is the first thing, I enter the camera mode, I press, in my case, shift and 1, and now I'm in in uh, walking mode. So far so good. Okay, this is uh, very easy, this is one of the main options, how you can navigate your 3D space in Blender. Uh, the next thing what I did is, I tried to animate this, uh, these platforms. What I did, you can do this by uh, creating either, <coughs> by creating driver, but I will get to the drivers later. So what I did here is just, I just animated movement up and down, then I, if you press shift E, you can use uh, extrapolation, I chose this make cyclic, cyclic, and then it's going forever. And for the next ones, I just change keyframes a little bit, so I change speed and timing to make it, uh, to make it not the same as the first one, okay? And uh, and this, the main gate. Okay, so this is, as I said, no scripting involved. We can argue whether this is script or not, but all I did, look, I, I will just move my camera. Uh, 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 sorry, this is just, uh, this is light baking, which is commonly used in video games, and also in animation, it, it, it simulates light bouncing. But we don't need this now, okay? And look, if I move my camera, look what happens. Basically what I'm doing in uh, walk mode, I'm just moving my camera in this axis. Also in other axis, but mainly this is... I, I isolated this axis and made a driver out of it. Look, I, I, I linked this uh, Y movement to Z movement of gate. And it means that if... This is zero, LG. This is zero position. And we start at minus, you see, minus something. You can do it however, however you want, 
But for me, it was uh, the easiest was to start here as a zero, create. Um, I made driver out of this and, and I pasted it as driver. This is not tutorial about drivers. Okay, there are a ton of tutorials uh, which you can check on YouTube, and it's a bit a uh, different topic, but. Basically what you do in driver is you can control one property with another. For example, if I you can select here with these keyframes, you can select that if we are on zero with a camera, then the, the then the set location will change according to change of my camera's value. So now if my value is increasing, also the Z, which is linked in this case, the Z the Z location in, in Z axis is linked to my camera and now, okay, now if I'm moving, see? So, so what it does, and it doesn't have to be linear, you can, for example, 0 can be 1, 1 can be 0, I'm not sure if I'm explaining this right, but basically all you do is you are controlling one thing with another. So if, let's say if camera moves 1 meter, it can mean that the gate from 0 to 1 will also move 1 meter, let's say, or, or 1 whatever units you have, but in different axes. You can link these two. And yeah, this is basically it. Uh, this is only one thing which I used. Uh, no, almost one thing. <laughs> it's never something another, but this is it. This is all. So definitely, if you are interested in this, check some tutorials about drivers, how they work. They are very powerful, even if you do animations. They are very frequently used, I would say. They are very helpful. Um, okay, uh, and these... It's mesh. It's basically mesh. I made this out of cone. Then I used uh, geometry nodes, and all I did here, uh, 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 yeah, all I did here in geometry nodes is, okay, the geometry nodes are a separate topic, but I'm not very good at it yet, but you can see, the, it's very simple what I did here. This is the basic mesh, uh, it's a similar like if you work with a shader editor, right? And I created noise texture. Uh, and I deformed it in Z axis, so it the, so the deformation is rising vertically. This is all what's happening, and this is driver. You can uh, you can uh, automate this. It's something similar as extrapolation when you animate frames and it's going cyclic and, and it's going uh, forever, right? So what I did here, instead of just manually changing values and keyframing this, what I did is I I typed. You can even do this from scratch. You just click to this value and start typing. We can even create this from scratch. So basically what this expression does, this is hashtag frame, it means it will be your number, the frame you are on. So this is always refreshing, 20 time or 30, uh, 25 or 30 times per second, depends on your frame rate, you can set even 60, doesn't matter. Times some value. and. It means that each time the frames are going, if your timeline is uh, playing, if you have playback on, this will be refreshing and uh, this will be moving by some value which you specify here. Usually a very small one, uh, it should be small. So this is basically how I created fire, okay? This is it. And I won't be digging much into materials, this is just basic color ramp. And yep, I have light here. Uh, I will show you what I did here with the light. Uh, if you click here, we have another expression here. Okay, we can argue whether or not this is programming, but it's so easy and you don't even have to know all the syntax. So this is not basically like, like writing a code. Okay, this is just a math operation which uh, you can type here and Blender will work with it. So this is a sin, it means it will wiggle uh, and this is expression you can use in a comma, it's frame, again your number of your actual frame, times some speed, time, distance. So it means how fast will it wiggle and how much will it wiggle. And this is basically all what I did with shadows, I wanted to have dynamic shadows. So in this video what I wanted to show you is a little bit different perspective when it comes to Blender. Uh, so it can be used perhaps uh, for some interactive videos and films. I wouldn't call this like 
proper video game, right? Because there are, as I said, there are many limitations. The one limitation is, as I mentioned, we have no collisions here. And the second limitation is, we can't even die here, right? <laughs> there, are, there, there can't be really much rules to be set. Uh, so, I would call this just some uh, basic demonstration, some pr interactive presentation or video, yeah? But it really resembles a video game level, I do think so. So, I, I was thinking how would the collision, for example, solved here, right? If we, for example, wanted to create some wall collisions and other things, we could maybe use limit distance or some uh, other similar constraint. But the problem is, this walk mode doesn't work with constraints, which is <laughs> kind of limiting. But maybe if you edit source code, I don't know, maybe you can run it. Of course, it's, it might be possible. It's just not allowed here at, at the moment. So if you have some ideas how to solve this without constraints, maybe. If you, if you do coding in Python, maybe you will easily solve this. But this was a demonstration without coding, on, or at least without, with as little script as possible. So yeah, this is, this is it guys, let me know what you think. Uh, maybe you, you've even tried some similar projects in the past. And I will see you in the next video, thank you for watching, bye!